Hello everyone. We will continue the generic questions and answers. And in this particular video, I will go for the answer of this particular question. And this video is dedicated for the functional consultants because so many functional are asking, yes, what extent of a BAP knowledge is required for a functional consultant. So we will go for the answer of the same. Now it totally depends upon the target of a functional consultant. Suppose if a functional consultant is saying that he or she wants to become a complete techno functional so that they can write the code also by themselves. In that case, you need to make your strong foundation first, then slowly, slowly you can move on to intermediate and advanced level topic because your target is to become a complete techno functional guy. Then in that case, you need to start a BAP from the basics itself. And in the same playlist, I explained, yes, what are the various base topics, what are the various intermediate and advanced level topics. So if you want to become a complete techno functional so that you can write the code also by yourself, then in that case, you need to firstly make your strong foundation. Then you can move on to intermediate and advanced level topics. Now we have second scenario. And second scenario is most popular among functional consultants and maximum functional consultants follow this particular case. Now, what is the second case? Yes, functional consultants are saying, yes, they want the knowledge of debugging. Yes, they want to remain functional consultants, but they want the knowledge of debugging. Now, if a functional knows debugging, if a functional has good knowledge on the debugging, you can simply, simply think your half of the task is completely, completely reduced. Your dependency on the technical is significantly reduced and it will make your task in a smooth manner. Now, suppose if a functional knows debugging, so we'll firstly cover the advantages. What are the various advantages of the same? Suppose I'm a functional consultant and I know debugging. Suppose I'm creating a sales order through VA01 and suppose some functional error is coming, some, some configuration error is coming. At that time, if I know debugging, I can simply, simply set the breakpoint and check from where the error is coming and I can easily predict this particular configuration is missing. Yes. So you can resolve or you can. So in that case, functional can resolve the error by themselves itself. Suppose you are working in a particular transaction code and you want to check what are the various tables involved into that particular transaction code. So if you know debugging, you can simply, simply check. Now the third is the most, most important point. Suppose you want, you want some enhancement. Suppose you are working in a particular transaction code, standard transaction code. And in that standard transaction code, customer asks for a additional requirement. Then in that case, you need to check for enhancement that this can be achieved through body, BTE, customer exit. Then in that case, if you know debugging, you can easily, easily check that this body can be used for this particular enhancement. This BTE can be used for this particular enhancement. This customer exit can be used for this particular enhancement. Now, if you know debugging, yes, your dependency on that technical person reduces a lot because you can, you know debugging and you can check all the things by yourself. Now, the fifth and the most important point is you can prepare your functional specification in an effective manner. Just now I took the example. 
suppose customer ask for some enhancement in VA02 transaction code, then in that case, rather than going to the technical okay, and ask, okay, can you please check what is the body available? What is the customer exit available? You can check by yourself and prepare the functional specification in an effective manner. Suppose you want to check what are the various tables involved into this transaction code, then you can check and prepare the functional specification in an effective manner. So if a functional knows debugging, it's, it's a just like a golden thing for you. You can do lots of things by yourself and your dependency on the technical reduces a lot. Now the next thing comes, yes, how, how you can know or how you can learn debugging in an effective manner. So now I will show you the part. Now we have a dedicated playlist for the debugging. You can see we have a dedicated playlist for the debugging. Suppose if I will go for this particular playlist and I will come on to the challenges also. Suppose you, a functional started learning debugging. Now the functional is saying while learning the debugging, they came across so many, so many technical, I'll say so many technical things which I'm using in the video. Suppose I'm using variable, I'm using internal table, work area, I'm using loop, I'm using read table, suppose I'm using, suppose different keywords, then in that case, how they will understand the meaning of all these things. Yes. So in that case, what you can do, you can simply start learning debugging. Suppose in that particular video, I'm using suppose if statement, I'm using case statement, I'm using loop statement. I'm showing how you can debug this particular code. Suppose this is, this is select query, how I'm debugging that particular select query. So in that case, if you want to know the meaning of those particular things, and in that case, I'll simply say, there's no need to go into detail. You in that, if you want some basic idea of if statement, loop statement, select query, suppose size sub RC variable. So in that case, what you can do, you can simply, simply go for the playlist third and fourth. A BAP programming part one and a BAP programming part two. Suppose you are learning debugging and I use the word suppose internal table and work area and you want to learn what is internal table and what is work area. So what you can do, you can simply, simply go to a BAP programming part one playlist. This is just the example I'm taking. You can simply go for this particular playlist and you will be able to find internal table and work area. So from the functional perspective, while learning debugging in ABAP programming part one, part two and modularization technique in this three playlist itself, you will get the introduction of the same. Suppose if I want to learn internal table and work area, so you can simply go and learn internal table and work area. I'm not saying you need to go into in depth of the same at least just get some idea if you want. Yes. If you want to go for extension of your knowledge based upon the various terminology also, then in that case, you can learn from here. Suppose in the video I showed, okay, this is the function module, how you can debug this function module. Then functional will say, I don't know what is function module. Then in that case, what you can do, these three playlists will play a vital role. A BAP programming part one, part two and modularization technique. You can go for modularization technique and you will be able to find function module topic. This is only for those functional consultants, those who are learning debugging and want to understand the meaning of various terminology also but it is not applicable to each and every functional consultant. Sometimes functional, 
will only only try to learn F5, F6, F7, F8. They do not want to go into detail what is variable, what is internal table, what is work area. In that case, yes, you can simply, simply just learn debugging. But if you want to understand the meaning of terminology also, then you can refer these particular playlists. Suppose if I will go for debugging playlist, I'll just go for one important point which make your task in a smooth manner. Suppose if I will go for debugging playlist, you can see we have so many videos how you can go for system variable. If you can see there's a video how you can go for breakpoint on keyword, function, module and message. This video is extremely important for the functional consultants because we have a provision that you can directly put a breakpoint on the message. And many times functional struggled a lot. Suppose if technical is not available at that point of time, from where this particular message is coming at that time, you can set a breakpoint if you know how to set a breakpoint on a particular message. So in that case, you can easily find that from this is the particular place from this particular error is coming. Yes, once you know debugging, we have a dedicated playlist for enhancement and modification. You can see what is this enhancement and modification. In this enhancement and modification, I covered body, customer exit, BTE. So after having the knowledge of the debugging, you can go for this particular playlist enhancement and modification. Because in this particular playlist, I, there are so many videos where I explained that how you can find body, customer exit, BTE use with the help of debugging. So you can simply apply those debugging whatever you studied through debugging and you can apply to find a particular enhancement. So if a functional knows debugging, you can simply, simply understand you are the king in yourself, king or queen, whatever you want to consider. Yes. Okay. Now, if I will go for the summary of this particular video, in this video, I covered what extent of a back knowledge is required for a functional yes if you want to become a complete techno functional yes in that case yes you need to learn a back from the scratch make a strong foundation then go for intermediate level topics one by one but maximum functional want to learn debugging and if you know debugging, you have so many advantages. There's no dependency on technical. You can prepare your functional specification in effective manner. You can find the root cause of the error by yourself. In that case, you can simply find enhancement. You can simply find tables by yourself. Now, while learning debugging, if you want to understand the meaning of various terminology, then you can refer the playlist of a BAP programming part one, part two and modularization technique. Once you know debugging, then after that go for enhancement and modification playlist also and just focus on those videos where I used debugging to find a particular enhancement technique. So that's it in this video. Thank you.